Welcome back to Factorio Hyperbase, where we are going to build a very high performing uh, science, uh, infinite science research base, unlike our previous ones, um, but learning, of course, from our previous ones. At the moment, I am building what I consider to be a modest starter base. Um, some people may have different views on that. We ultimately will have all of these full of stuff, so yeah, um, you can have different views if you like. So these are the uh, going to be red machines. Um, so what we need now is, um, I guess, I want to leave a gap for um, stuff to come through here. Um, yeah, so these are the equivalent red. Uh, I may even... Let's just put that in so I don't confuse myself. Oh, that's right, we need a blue one for the down there. Let's quickly build one of them. We'll, we'll replace all of these with blue soon enough, but for now, I... Um, I'll just use the level 1 machine so we get up and going. So these are going to be inserters. Uh, this one will be the yellow inserter. And I will probably... Uh, they need to be blue as well. Okay. Um, oh, probably don't need all of those extras. Um, so we do inserters and then we will do... Uh, the assembly machines, and we'll round it out probably with poles and um, poles, and we need to do more electric mining drills because that's going to become fairly important to us. So, uh, yeah, we start in the middle. Um, and at some point in the future, I will be clever enough to actually make a blueprint of this so I don't have to recreate it every time. But at the moment, I have to keep recreating it. I think I need a fast inserter there. Or is it the middle that I need the fast inserter? Um, let me just work this out. So the filter inserter comes off the fast inserter. Uh, I might need to go to the technology tree to see where the other inserters are. This is one of those moments that if you had it all pre-done, it would kind of help. Um, because I wouldn't have to look it up, obviously. Uh, logistics, probably. One of the logistics. And unfortunately, it's not leaping out at me. It's not automation. There we go, logistics. Um, is it logistics? Um, maybe it's not for inserters. Maybe it is. No, perhaps it's not. Okay. Um, inserters. Capacity bonus. Stack inserter. There you go. So stack inserters need fast inserters. Uh, okay, okay. So that shouldn't be fast inserters. That one there should be fast inserters. And then we can make uh, this one filter inserters, maybe? Or is it that one needs to be filter inserter and that stack filter? Is that what we decided. Uh, now I've lost it again. So the stack filter requires a stack inserter. Right. Uh, no, so this has to be filter inserters up there. Um, these will be the stack and the stack filter inserter. So yes, we need six for that. Uh, that gives us plastics. What next? Advanced electronics, that probably would be a good one to do. Um, what does this need? It just needs um, the gear wheels. 
Good. We've got a stack now. Um, worry about the specifics of those later. Um, so we want to be able to build this guy. We need green. We need iron plate. Um, I'm hopeful. Uh, what do they actually need? Look at them one more time. They are under there. They need green and red, and that one just needs green, so that's fine. This can have green and red. We'll need to add another space. Uh, but we're a long way away from that at this point. So we want to get to about... Uh, we do have a stack of those, so there we go. I should start using the numbers. Oh, I've done this too soon. Now, I think red circuit, uh, the red, yes, it doesn't need green, so that's good, but it does need plate and so does this one so we need to run plate in as well like so um, we are going to probably need something coming through here or maybe not so this could possibly just come straight up um, Now, I don't actually have any red inserters on me. But we are going to need uh, that. Um, iron plate. Iron gear wheel. For now, I might just do the same on this side. Run the iron gear wheel up to there. Steel chest. Um, red actually does not need to be passed over to there, so that will probably do. I'll limit that to a hundred. Um, not sure on this side that, that will do. Uh, and let's get some power up here. Blue just needs these ones, these ones, uh, and the iron plate. Um, yeah, they don't need any more gear wheels, so that's good. The filter inserters are going to need blues. use some of these. Um, oh, and it needs electronic gear wheels as well. Aha! Uh -huh. Electronic gear wheels. Electronic circuits, moron! <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to get electronic circuits over there. Um, that just yet. Excellent, another tech has been done. 
Uh, let's get automobilism, so if anything happens to our car, we can sort it out and put down some more power. Uh, okay, so those are the inserters, and now the assembly machines. Um, so the way I normally work this is pretty much, uh, that's level 1, that's level 2, and this will be level 3 in due course. Uh, level 1 needs green circuits. What do you need? Uh, you need all sorts of stuff. We need to space this a little bit better. As in, not just one away, but an extra one. So that we can um, support uh, green circuits coming up to coming up along here all the way through and also um, Have the iron coming in. Uh, um, what do you need? You need iron. We can get it from there, so that's as good as anything. What do you need? You need these things. Uh, this is going to be a problem because we don't have the reach anymore, so we will have to move that inserter to there. Do that. Now, um, we will not, once this is up and running, we won't actually be using the this uh, inserter this assembly machine anymore, we'll only use blue, so uh, I won't even keep a stockpile of them uh, No, I won't create a stockpile, I'll probably um, create a pile of used ones that will ultimately be a request to chest, I guess. Um, let's get some of those. Uh, you need that. You need that, and that as well. Um, cogs. Uh, actually, let's do this one up here. Because we don't know exactly where that's going to go. Um, power. Now, this one needs the gear wheels as well. Needs even more green circuits um, and iron. And it needs to be output to a chest. Something like... Like that, perhaps. Uh, let's put a limit on that chest. So that gets... Oh, this is going to need... Um, Those need to be speed modules to build the Assembly 3 machines. Um, which means that we have a little gap for building 
these guys, copper and steel, and copper and steel. Um, I might just move this one so that everything remains a nice distance apart. And we have finished a, another thing. Let's get railway then because we will be needing railway very soon. Uh, you can be the medium electric pole, you can be the big electric pole, um, which we can't actually build because we don't have steel or copper yet, but uh, that's what the second one of these lines is supposed to be copper, and the third one is going to be steel. So let us um, put in place a copper. Um, put in place some copper which means we need to correct this thing uh, oops you can go up there bots you might be vaguely useful at this point again down you go down here so actually that went one too far we need to place that just there so let's again remove a bunch that might be too much that's going out the wrong way. There we go. Um, that should go all the way through. So we now have copper in there. Um, that I don't mind so much now that we're actually building those things. Um, oh, 243, that might be more than I really wanted. 50, I think I can let go to 100. Let's grab some fast inserters because that will certainly help. Um, so, poles are going to be copper and steel. Um, the next item on the agenda is the electric mining drill, which actually suggests it would be better if these had two gaps here. Although these are kind of as high as they need to be, so there's no particular reason why we can't actually run the two belts like so. down there and you can go down there uh, one one two and you can go across like that because steel will come through here to feed these guys railway finished that's excellent um, Probably just working further towards railway stuff is what we're going to need because we're going to need railway very, very soon. Um, now, if these things come here, what do we need for this guy? Uh, we need the iron gear wheel. We need the electronic circuit. Um, I'm not sure what I normally end up placing with this guy. Um, 
I'll work that out soon, but that is the the last one here that I really want. These guys don't need anything coming this direction. I think what I'll do is I'll run Um, I will run. Well, this one needs green circuits to come off. Oops. what we put here, doesn't it? For now, this will have to do. Um, We will need a lot of miners in the very near future, so let's give them the ability to make a lot. Okay, so that has... Oh, we need lights and things. That's what we need, isn't it? Yeah. Probably pipes is what I want to do down here. Um, let's finish off this line, getting up to where it needs to go. We do have this alternate line for iron. Very thin, so yeah, we need to get more iron... Um, more iron built. Um, what actually is involved in lamps? We can start building them now. Iron, iron stick and electronic circuit. Uh, maybe I should just automate the lamps here. to here, don't we? So it's not going to be that happy. Automated rail transportation. All right, let's get rail signals. And you can see by virtue of the amount of demand on the iron here. Do we have that blocked off? Probably not. Let's block that off. I don't need that growing. Um, yeah. That's fine. Um by the amount of iron that's getting through here. That's good. Is that block? No, that one's not. Okay, let's stop that about there. That one is, so that's fine. Um, the amount of iron that's getting through here should be improving soon. This is an absolute hog, though. How many have we got in here now? 26. That's pretty good. It's making them pretty quick. Um, we could do with those lamps. Um, I just don't know. How I'm going to get the iron back in here. Kind of messy. Okay, 
you can be iron sticks. And you can be lamps. Because we do need them. Iron sticks is just iron plate. Um, lamps is iron plate, iron sticks, and those. And these guys can go into a box. There, because we need to be able to see what we're doing in our factory. Um, okay, we should have enough um, uh, is that good? Probably not. Better just stock up on 200 of them. Hmm. Stock up on those and those and maybe these as well. Okay, where is our car? It's up there. Radar. Jump in our car, go and um, fill out. We probably need to double this up very soon as well, but let's go and fill out some more mining. Desperately, urgently. And then maybe go for an explore. I'm not quite sure how much of the episode has been done. Um, we are going to need to build rail very soon. Copper is fine from the looks of things, but iron could certainly do with being a proper four stack ASAP. Um, okay, so for starters, this line can get finished. It's actually about too, too long in terms of uh, compressed yellow belt, but that's okay. Now, um, what I want is basically uh, two more two more rows here immediately so that we get a full a proper full four stack and we're no longer kind of being a fake stack. Nothing worse than fakers, right? Uh, wow, we are just about out of these already. And that is just a single additional line. Fair not, I did notice that the uh, tech has been done, so what is next? Uh, is there anything obvious for the rails? Braking force we can't get yet. Fluid wagon. We could get sulfur processing. That's always a useful one with the oil tech. Uh, seven more of these guys. Okay. Actually, you know what? I will use uh, power poles instead. Um, we do actually need to get steel on as well, so I need to start supplying the steel area.
But we'll get a proper full four lanes of iron first, and then we will start supplying steel. Do we have our bots in? We do. Okay, that's good. Uh, we need to be making more furnaces. We don't have a lot of stone on us, so... Um, oops. Not actually sure where my bots are right at the moment, but let's run over here, grab some more stone so that we can build out all of these furnaces. It's quite a lot of stone that we need, but fortunately we have it sitting right here. Uh, 53 will not be enough, probably. Let's just grab the lot. Bots, where are you? Um, we're completely out of... Oh, here they come. We're completely out of inserters, so I might need to do a run back to the Make Everything factory to get some more. I can probably make a few uh, in hand. While we wait on that, more bots coming from above. We have to go up this way anyway. I suppose we can just pick these guys up. Where's our car? Just up there. Okay. Let's grab our car. Let's... Um, oh, we've got a little bit of recycling we can do up here. even put a lane balancer in there very shortly. Um, what's that? Two more mining drills. That's not all that impressive, but it's better than nothing. go. Yeah, we could do, definitely do with a balancer in here. They're fairly simple to do, of course. Um, So mathematically you don't really need these balances at the end, but in practice it turns out that you do, so we will put them in. It's just Factorio isn't strictly mathematically um, correct. It has mechanical things that kind of work outside what you would expect from a pure mathematical treatise of the subject of volumes and what splitters theoretically do and so on. Uh, we need more inserters, don't we? Whoa. Ouch. Right, here we are. Let's 
slightly faster way around, I might grab every inserter that it has. There we go. Do I need more belt as well? No, but I do need probably every one of those. Let's head back up. This must be my more light car. Um. That balancer doesn't actually help our Uh, like the lanes that have too many miners for the support of a yellow belt, um, where that balancer is, it's too late to really help. Um, and the other problem I have with this situation is, even though this is a pretty good patch that's not going to exhaust all that quickly let's just have a quick look how much it is 1.6 million so that's a decent patch but as you can see we're almost out of landmass on it and as soon as we are uh, what's that laser we don't really need lasers batteries are not a bad idea let's get some batteries happening as soon as we run out of space you know to put the inserters um, we end up in a situation where Oh, we're almost halfway. Uh, we end up in a situation where um, we can uh, not actually put any more miners down, even if there's the capacity in the initial um, spot. And so you can't actually fill all of your um, smelting, even though, um, you know, in theory, your spot could support it. So it's all very well having these very healthy spots if they're not big enough. So we're going to have to find some more. The vague idea from opening up the map where there is some. There's actually more copper immediately around than there is. Whoops. Than there is um, iron, which um, is interesting, since that's something they theoretically were addressing. But never mind. Um, we will set up a bit of a bit more iron so that we can start steel smelting. That's pretty critical to our process here. Before we leave here, let's fully power it. But I mean, as you can see, we are at this point. At this point, we can't really get another line, another proper line of iron ore into here. going to uh, herald in disaster. I can see it. Oh, that's exactly what I feared happening. Here come the bots to cause me trouble. Delivering me wood, that's a sure sign that they're trying to cause trouble. Oh, 
Eek. <laughs> About now we could do with grenades, which of course we don't have, because who needs them when you are emphasizing different um, different things, you know? Oh, we had steel axe, that's good. That must have been part of our quick start kit to get us going. This is my thing with research though, the early game research, it's so cheap that even a very simple basic uh, science build up uh, build and you are just flying through the science Damn! You're just flying through the science um, way ahead of when you can reasonably use it, especially if you are just, especially if you're building a large factory. In which case, you know. Oh, here we go. We're at the right spot, so you can just park up. Um, so I a copper, uh, copper, coal goes in those. Um, Iron ore goes into these external ones, so what we want is that one to break there and uh, there, whoops, there. It'll have to be a completely different uh, supply. Whoops. In fact, just to be sure of that, we'll do that. This one will have to be a completely different supply. There's no way um, this line of ore will be enough for two of these builds. It will only really be enough for one. Now only thing is the best thing we can probably do shall I build a shotgun it's not the greatest way of dealing with trees come on bots where are you you gotta be around here somewhere uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish off running the, um, the coal uh, all the way down just so that we get our coal supply down where we need it um, probably need something like that It's going to start building out the wrong area, of course, because it loves doing that. And we have a, another tech finished. All right, what's next? Um, accumulators, lasers, modules, stack inserter, maybe stack inserter. At least that would then let us place that uh, tech. Had more. 
All right, what I'm going to do is run up over here and go back to this collection of uh, belt because this is probably where we're missing the most. 2000. Did that? E I'm amazed that even fits. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, coal as well, huh? There we go, good. Um, we still have some of those, but we are going to need some more, so let's do something like that. It's probably not nearly enough. sure where I got up to. We're not up to this bit yet, clearly. Looks like we're at about here. So... better. Come on guys, get rid of some trees for me, thanks. Not those ones over there, how about these ones just here? Oh, we're about to get bombarded with some more wood, so let's make a few more wooden poles. It's not an absolutely terrible way to get rid of it, but um, I guess quite a lot of this should just be thrown into the steam engines for burning fairly soon as well. Not quite sure how we're doing for time here, but I really would like to get steel happening. There we go. Um, uh, let's go to there. how the coal should go. Uh, we are missing some splitters. And some normal belt. getting through it is um, it's quite likely especially when all of these machines are running that this one belt of coal won't be nearly enough uh, let me just have a sip of coffee while I think about that um, what we want to do now though is ensure that 
we can actually produce some steel. So the idea with this stack is simply, uh, let me just see, where do I want, I think I want the steel, can't see, because this hasn't filled out, but these two um, are the stone ones, so yeah, this one here is going to be steel. Um, which means that that can go over like so. We can actually get rid of all of this because this is the soonest that we actually are able to make steel. Um, that can go to there, that can go to there. Now, what are we missing? Unknown. Um, can we make more furnaces? No, we're missing stone. Do we have enough furnaces? We've only got 21 as far as I can see. So, no, we don't have enough furnaces. Let me get rid of a bit more of this... Um, Belt. Bring the stone down. Right, what else can we do? We can get an insert a capacity bonus. That's always a useful thing to research. And what's more, it will take a little while, so that's probably good too. <laughs> These bots. Oh my goodness. Is it really helping? see if I can um, yeah the coal is supposed to come into this one so I've actually marked this up Like so. Now, um, oops. It's not always safe to let bots do these undergrounds, they can get the direction wrong. I think it's flowing through there okay though. Certainly hope so. Right. Oops. Uh, inserters. Do we have any inserters left, guys? How about you just put some inserters down here? That would be great. Do you think you could operate on the stack that I really want done rather than just running around randomly? doesn't look especially promising, I have to admit. We only have 50 slow robots. Um,
<laughs> maybe they're concentrating on this one now, it's hard to say. I do certainly need to get more smelters built though. So, yes, good, good. The stone has made it down to here. Let's grab a whole lot. And build a bunch more smelters. And no, that won't be enough either, but... Um, it's better than what we had before. Come on guys, just at least make enough so that we're getting a little bit of st steel coming through. Is that so hard? Apparently it is. If they put all these stupid poles down for me, that would make my life a lot easier to, like, insert the smelting machines, but, um, I guess I won't worry about it too much. those profitably. Just like seeing this wood supply being exhausted. Come on guys, anything you put up here or down here is kinda wasted. to the front here. Aha! That one is almost doing what it needs to. Uh, is the coal getting through? I can't see coal. there, or maybe I can. No, I don't, there's no coal at the end, that's the problem. We seem to be completely out of inserters, so that's also a problem. I'll go and raid the inserter um, manufacturer as well. Just run down here. Um, we do have some stone brick, so I can extend this out. Um, inserters. Maybe I really do need to let that one build a little bit further. Probably need some more reds as well. Build all the things. but only the ones that I am able to work on, which is this lot. Come on, guys. Where are you? I 
Whoops, that is what happens when the power poles have not yet been replaced. Sorry, not replaced, but placed. Which is why it's quite advantageous to actually do the three, well, in this case it would be like one extra pole. Um, here you, there's two on each side, you need three if you squeeze these up because they can't fit in that comfortable um, place in between. So this one uses slightly less resources at the cost of more space. Um, I don't understand why coal's not getting through. Some of these are just shadows. And a another tech is done. Uh, let's have a look at what else we can do. Um, mining productivity could be useful. Advanced material processing will let us improve our furnaces. We will need all of these things at some time. So we just, as long as the factory is researching, that is the most important thing. There must be a shadow in there that I can't um, pick out that easily. Uh, we don't need you guys like that. Let's go and grab some more um, underground belts. Uh, what else? Inserters, perhaps. This uh, steel will be largely built out, built out by the time we are ready for it, <laughs> which is good, I guess. Um, aha! We are now getting steel. That is great to see. So everything from this point down... Is basically saying that it doesn't it's not getting coal. Now it is. Now this one is you need some inserters, uh, you need some exit inserters. So steel takes a very long period of time to smelt. Um, it takes five times as long as iron and it needs five times as much. So without modules, your um, 
Iron to steel ratio is one smelter of iron is exactly one smelter of steel, but this is not the case under productivity modules. So that's something to worry about later on. Um, oh, you don't have the inserter you need. Okay. So we've got one side of this working. Now, what about the other side? Well, and a another research has completed. Um, as I said, we're way in advance of um, our ability to actually use these researches at the moment. These are all over the place, so we're going to have to fix all of those up. Okay, that looks like it's right. That looks like it's right. That looks like it's right. Okay, they all look right now. Um, inserters. Poles down this end. So this whole thing is enough for one quarter of a belt of steel, no more than that. I've seen smaller supplies of um, a smaller st a smelting stack of steel supposedly turned into four lanes of steel after this point, so, yeah. <laughs> if it didn't impact things quite so much, I would find, there we go, that one's around the wrong way. Actually, you don't need to take them out, you can just turn them directly where they lie. But never mind. more power poles that need to be placed and some more long handed inserters there we go we are finally getting steel we need steel so that we can do railways um, but that is going to have to wait until next episode, guys. Thanks for joining me for this, and I look forward to seeing you in the next. Bye-bye for now.